Acids and Bases Arrhenius Concepts of Acids and Bases The substances that dissolve in water to produce H plus ions are called acids and the substances that dissolve in water to produce hydroxyl ions are called bases as postulated by Arrhenius. The ionization of an acid HX can be expressed as an equation. HX gives rise to H plus and X minus ions. As proton H plus is a very reactive ion, it doesn't remain free in the water. It binds to the oxygen atoms in the water and forms the trigonal pyramid-shaped hydronium ion H3O plus. H, H2O, plus HX plus H2O gives rise to H3O plus plus X minus. In the water, OH minus ions also exist in ionized forms. Arrhenius' concept of acids and bases have a drawback as they pertain only to water molecules. The Arrhenius concept has drawbacks by which cannot explain the basic nature of substances like ammonium that don't contain the hydroxyl group. bronsted lowry Concept of Acids and Bases According to the bronsted lowry concept, acids are the substances capable of donating a hydrogen ion while bases are the substances capable of accepting a hydrogen ion. In simpler words, Proton donors are acids and proton recipients are bases. HCl plus H2O gives rise to H3O plus plus Cl minus. On one side, the proton is lost. On the other side, it is gained. NH3 plus H2O gives rise to NH4 plus OH minus. On one side, the proton is lost. On the other side, it is gained. The acid-base pair that is differentiated by only a single proton is called a conjugate acid-base pair. Therefore, the conjugate base of the acid H2O is OH-. The conjugate acid of the base NH2 is NH4+. If the Bronsted acid is strong, its conjugate base is weak. If the Bronsted base is strong, its conjugate acid is weak. A conjugate acid has one extra proton, while a conjugate base has one less proton. Lewis concept of acids and bases. A chemical that accepts a pair of electrons is an acid, while a chemical that donates a pair of electrons is called a base. This was postulated by Lewis in the year 1923. Based on Lewis's concept of acids, all acids don't contain protons. For example, BF3 plus NH3 gives rise to BF3 NH3. BF3 doesn't contain a proton. Despite this, it receives the lone electron pair from NH3 and performs this action. Ionization. Ionization is the process of gaining or losing an atom or an electron thus forming a positive or a negative charge. Generally, along with other chemical changes, as a result, it produces electrically charged atoms called ions. By the meeting between subatomic particles, between atoms, or between atoms and ions, or by electromagnetic radiation. By interaction or by loss of electrons, ionization can occur. Ionization of acids and bases. Ionization of acids. The degree of ionization of an acid or a base indicates its strength. A strong acid completely ionizes in water, but a weak acid only partially ionizes in water. HA plus H2O gives rise to H3O plus plus A minus. 
ionization of bases. In an aqueous medium, some bases like lithium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide completely ionize. These are called strong bases. Therefore, the ionization of these bases produce hydroxyl ions OH-. A plus H2O gives rise to OH- plus HA+. A strong base indicates a good ability to receive protons. A strong acid indicates a good ability to donate protons. Ionization constant of weak acids, Ka. Constant for weak acid, Hx, that is partially ionized in water. Hx plus H2O gives rise to H3O plus plus X minus. At a specific temperature, T, Ka is called the ionization constant of Hx. If the value of Ka is more, acid strength is more. Ka is a size less parameter. Ionization constant of weak bases, Kb. MOH is a weak base. Its ionization in water is indicated by the equation below. MOH gives rise to M plus plus OH minus. In a weak base, MOH partially ionizes and forms M plus and OH minus. It is similar to the ionization equilibrium of acids. Relationship between Ka and Kb. The equilibrium constant of the net action that applies when two or more actions occur simultaneously can be obtained by multiplying the equilibrium constants of the individual actions. K net is equal to K1 into K2 into and so on. The conjugate in an acid-base pair is Ka into Kb is equal to Kw. Bi, tri and polybasic acids. In the molecules of some acids, like sulfuric acid and phosphoric acid, there are more than one ionizable proton. These acids are called polybasic or polyprotic acids. For example, the ionization of a bibasic acid, H2X, can be depicted in the equation below. H2X gives rise to H plus plus Hx minus. Hx minus gives rise to H plus plus X2 minus. Ka1 and Ka2 here are the equilibrium constants for the first and second ionization of the acid Hx respectively. In the same way, for the third ionization, we have three equilibrium constants, Ka1, Ka2, and Ka3 bi, tri, and polyacidic bases. In the molecules of some bases like calcium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide, there are more than just one ionizable protons. These acids are called multi-acidic or polyacidic bases. MOH2 gives rise to M plus OH minus plus OH minus. M plus OH minus gives rise to M plus plus OH2 minus. This is a biacidic base. It is an example of its ionization. Kb1 and Kb2. Here are the equilibrium constants for the first and the second ionization of the base MOH2 respectively. In the same way for the third ionization, we have three equilibrium constants. Kb1, Kb2, and Kb3. Ionization constant of water. In pure water, at the same time, one H2O molecule donates a proton and behaves as an acid, while another H2O molecule accepts the proton and behaves like a base. H2O plus H2O gives rise to H3O plus plus OH minus. 
its ionization constant can be represented as shown below. Ionic product of water. As water is pure, its concentration is stable. Therefore, in the equilibrium equation, we remove H2O and use the constant Kw. This is called the ionic product of water. Kw is equal to H plus OH minus. pH scale, the scale used to measure the concentration of H plus ions in a liquid is the pH scale. The pH of a liquid is the number used to denote its acidic or basic nature only. The value of neutral pH is 7. The liquids possessing a pH below 7 are acids and those that have a pH greater than 7 are bases. pH is defined as the decimal logarithm of the reciprocal of the hydrogen ion activity, AH in a solution. pH in a solution. Disadvantages of Arrhenius concept. The nature of H plus and OH minus ions. According to the Arrhenius concept, Acids and bases in aqueous solutions are described as the result produced by H plus and OH minus ions. But these ions can't be present in an aqueous solution. However, they may be present as hydrated ions. Arrhenius concept states that hydrogen ions in acids and hydroxyl ions in bases must be present compulsorily. Despite this, substances like NH3, Na2CO3 and CaO are bases, yet they do not contain hydroxyl ions. In the same way, substances like CO2 SO2 and SO3 are acids, but they do not contain hydrogen ions. Advantages of bronsted lowry concept. bronsted lowry concept is not limited to atoms. In order to work as acids and bases, it includes ions too. It can explain the basis of proton acceptance in basic salts like Na2CO3 and NH3. It can explain an acid-base reaction even in a non-aqueous medium when there is no water. Disadvantages of bronsted lowry concept. It cannot explain the reaction between acidic oxides like CO2, SO2 and SO3 with basic oxides like CaO, BaO and MgO. This can happen in the absence of water. Substances like BF3 and AlCl3 do not contain hydrogen. Therefore, they cannot donate protons. But they behave like Lewis acids. Advantages of Lewis concept. It can explain acid-base reactions that cannot be explained by any other concept. Disadvantages of Lewis concept. Lewis concept is very ordinary. It describes reactions forming coordinate bonds as acid-base reactions. This is not always true. In the Lewis concept, it is essential for a coordinate bond to form between acids and bases. Despite this, acids like HCl and H2SO4 do not form coordinate bonds. Therefore, based on this concept, they should not be considered as acids. Acid-base reactions are usually very quick, but coordinate bonds usually form very slowly. Therefore, it doesn't fit the description of an acid-base reaction. The catalytic action of an acid is due to its H plus ion. As the transfer of hydrogen is not essential in Lewis acid, many Lewis acids do not follow this rule. Lewis concept cannot explain the strength of acids and bases.